What's up, everybody? Hey. How y'all doing? We're back again. That's right. Back again. Part three. Mama's sleepy, but we're recording. <laughs> yeah. Part three of our story. That's right. So, last week we told you about Emily, how mm -hmm. God blessed us with Emily. And yep. so, four days ago, she turned 16. Can y'all believe that? Yes, yeah, she got our license. Man. And she... Um, Hard to believe we have a daughter that's 16, and you're only, what, 24? 20, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> um, anyway, um, she got her license and she went out to eat. She drove herself mm -hmm. with her. She and some of her friends went out to eat yep. and they went to the movies. And so, yeah, I was a praying mother. I had life 360 looking at her mm -hmm. every little move to see how fast she was going. <laughs> but, um, so now we want to talk about our other daughter. So, yep. um, after Emily was born, um, she shortly was, after. Shortly Ooh, after. You see my eyes. So, let's backtrack. My doctor told me, um, <clears throat> before your baby turns a year old, you're going to be pregnant again. And I was like, whatever. Right. Come on, man. I was like, it, it took, took me us four years, four and a half years five, yeah, to get to pregnant. To have one, you know, you got to carry the two and divide and <laughs> multiply. And it's not going to be that soon. So, I was like. But guess what? Yeah. So, y'all, I'm sorry, but I have a stain on my shirt. It happened. But that's not part of the story, but I just want to let y'all know. You made that whole announcement? Yeah. It's just, bothering you that bad? Yeah, because I don't want them to say, man, did she know she had a stain on her shirt? I knew it, but I just didn't have time to change my shirt. Okay, but anyway. <laughs> um, so go. when Emily was nine months old, um, I ended up having to have surgery because um, I got mastitis. And if you don't know what that is, look it up. Okay. I'm not being mean, but <laughs> um, I got mastitis and um, I was I was just down for a little while. But I guess I went down too much because y'all, I got pregnant. Yeah, I thought buddy. that um, breastfeeding was a form of birth control. No, 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 sisters, it is not. Okay, brothers, it is not. Well, anyway. Um, I went to the doctor um, in January. No, I went to the doctor like February, just almost right at my year checkup. Y'all, I was pregnant. I was about eight weeks pregnant. Look what the Lord has done. Yeah. Y'all, I was like, what in the world? But, you know, we were thankful. We just didn't want them that close together. Because I was thinking, I got to thinking, oh my goodness, two in diapers, two in daycare. Yeah. Two, well, Emily yeah. would have been off milk by then. You gotta wash two little behinds at the, the, every night. Two car seats. You know, I was yeah. just, we were thinking about all that. It just seemed like a lot. Yeah. But. Anyway, so about. Can you imagine the single parents that have to do that? I know. Oh my. I was probably about six weeks pregnant when I went to the doctor. Okay, that's what it was. About eight weeks into my pregnancy, um, one night I woke up, it was on a Saturday night. And I just felt like I needed to go to the bathroom. And when I went to the bathroom, um, I was bleeding really bad. And I just began to weep and I began to cry. And um, I called I called my doc. Well, I didn't call the doctor, but I called the hospital to let them know what was going on. And the hospital is two hours away. And the, the nurse told me, she said, ma'am, you can come. She said, but there's really nothing we can do. She said, basically, you just need to stay home. Let um, nature work its course out. And, you know, come to the doctor if you, you know, if you feel like you're not getting any better. And it happened on a Saturday night. Well, we went to church the next morning. Of course, I couldn't do anything. For those of you who know, we both lead worship. I don't think I sang that Sunday. I just sat and so early Monday morning, I took off work and I went to the doctor and um, I was laying on the table I, and um, they did a sonogram and I had just gotten a sonogram like two weeks prior and um, I was laying on the table and I just knew that um, this baby was not going to be alive and we had kind of prepared ourselves for it, you know, and I'm laying on the table and she's um, checking my stomach and all of a sudden I hear boom 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 
boom, boom. And yeah, I remember we, that. We looked at each other. Yeah. And right before, actually right before she started checking my stomach, um, this song came on. And it's, um, y'all know who Miley Cyrus is. She had that song called The Climb. It's always gonna be an uphill battle. Always gonna something Don't, don't make get us a... Uh, don't get us copywritten. <laughs> Sorry. That's not, that was not we're, my words. We're not used to uh, YouTube as much as we do on other, other social media. Yes. Movies, but. So anyway, I heard that song. And it was just like God was giving me peace. And that's when I heard the bump, 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 bump. And I was just like, me and Adam just looked at each other. And tears just began to fall down our faces. Yeah. And um, But right next to that little embryo in that little sack was another sack. And that baby was gone. So it was, I learned the term, it was a vanishing twin. And that twin was the one that I lost. Mm. So um, months go on. October 13th. October 13th. That's the way she, she used to no, say No, she it. used to say October 13th. Yeah, October 13th, 2009. Our second baby was born. And her name is? Olivia Macy Lowry. That's she right. was born weighing... Seven pounds, twelve ounces. She was my quickest deliver e delivery ever. I went in, um, started pitocin at nine o'clock. At twelve oh seven, she was here. Yeah, mm. seven pounds, twelve ounces. She was ready. So. And so, I, I just want to take this time. I can't help but think. Um, we always talk about whatever we do. We want to help somebody. Mm -hmm. And so, while she's sharing this, I can't help but think that maybe somebody out there needs to hear these words. What God put in you is there for a reason. It's going to come forth. Mm -hmm. Maybe the devil has tried to <laughs> try to convince you that the purpose and the promise inside of you has been miscarried. No, my friends. When God speaks a thing, it lives. Yeah. It lives. Now, we do have things that happen in life, in real world situations, but when he speaks that word in you, it will. The Bible says that his word is without void. It will go do what he sent it to. Yeah. And so I want to pray with you tonight. Well, it's nighttime for us. Um, we want to pray with you about about you. Um, if that be you, you can, you're more than welcome to join in with us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another opportunity, Lord God, to reach out to <clears throat> anyone who will listen. Maybe somebody watching right now has felt like there was something inside of them when Tara was referring to the baby that, that you blessed us with that was growing inside of her tummy. Father, and we thought the baby was gone. But praise God, yes, Lord. there was one still there. Yes, thank you, Jesus. I believe tonight, Lord God, that there is a purpose still in the hearts of the individuals watching. Yes. Maybe they've been knocked down and drugged through the mud. Maybe they've been hurt at church, uh, through people, which it happens. But well, Lord God, that doesn't negate the purpose. That doesn't stop what you said. You called them by name. They're yours. Yes. Before they were formed in their mother's womb, <clears throat> you knew them. Yes, Lord. And so tonight, it's a glorious opportunity that we have, Father, to agree with these individuals that are watching. Lord God, we ask that you would bring that thing forth within them yes, and Jesus. not delay. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, because you are faithful, yes, Jesus. Lord you. God, and ready to do exceedingly yes. and abundantly and above all that we may ask for or think. Yes, so in the name of Jesus, to every viewer watching, be encouraged. Yes. God's got you. Yes, He's got Jesus. this. It's going to work out. Yes, in Jesus' God. name, amen. Amen. So, it's about that time. Yes. It is. Thank you for joining us. Definitely. And we pray that um, you will watch our other videos mm -hmm. in the upcoming future. You can always find us on TikTok, The Lowry's. And The Lowry is spelled a little different than most. It's L-O-W-R-E-Y. Six. And seven. And seven. Yeah. We both have. And our Facebook channel is Adam and Tara. The and symbol. That was my best symbol. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we have that. Uh, we go face. We do. We go live on Facebook. That's what I was gonna say. Every Sunday at seven ish, because it yeah. could be a Central little, Standard Time. Yeah, it could be a little after seven. Yeah. But come and join us. God bless you. We love you. 
put in the comments if there's anything. Once we kind of get uh, beyond our how we started and everything, we're going to start hitting up some serious topics. If there's any topics that you would like for us to discuss about, uh, put it in the comments and um, hit the like, the subscribe, and so that way you'll be notified every time these videos go out. Yep. Love y'all. Yes, it is with love from, from Adam and Tara. God bless y'all. Yes. Bye.